Hey guys, it's Brittany and I'm on my way to an island for the next five days. I'm flying six and a half hours from Australia to the Cook Islands and I've never been here before. This is my first time going to the Cook Islands. This is a secret island vacation spot that I've never heard of in my life until now and I'm so excited to share this experience with you guys. We just made it to the villa and I'm gonna show you guys around before we mess this place up. The living room over here, all of our stuff to our left over here. We have the kitchen and they fully stocked the fridge for us. So we have a whole bowl of fruit, this whole bowl of breakfast. They also just gave us some toast. To our left over here, we have the bathroom, the shower. We're walking upstairs and this is our bedroom. But it's so cute and cozy. And then you can actually see like the beach through here. It's so close to us. This is the front of our villa. It's our first night here and we're going to Club Raro for some cocktails and drinks before dinner and don't mind my nasally voice guys, I have a cold so please bear with me. We also got a bunch of snacks and drinks before we headed off to dinner. <laughs> made it to our dinner spot and it's so beautiful here i'm gonna show you guys around there's like the restaurant here and it also has like an ocean view which is so nice this restaurant is right by the water so we we're watching the sunset go down while we were ordering our food and i got a curry it was so delicious and i'm just excited for day two it's about 9 a.m and we're gonna go sea scootering which is these little machines and you hold on to it and you're just like in the water it's gonna be really fun. I'm so excited. We're on our way to sea scootering and I'm so excited. I've gone snorkeling before. I've never sea scootered and we're sea scootering with turtles. And the good thing about sea scooters is basically it's like a machine that propels you forward so you don't have to kick as much. And I am no strong swimmer. So your girl was really excited about just like not having to kick as much. And it was so much fun. I could just like hold on to it and it like pull me forward. So I really enjoyed this experience and we saw so many turtles, it was crazy. We just finished swimming with the turtles and that was the coolest thing ever. We just made it to the restaurant and we're gonna head inside with everyone, get a snack. I'm so hungry after. We were swimming for like two hours out there and <laughs> I'm like crusty. I'm yeah, so I'm, I'm so crusty. My hair, so crusty. so crusty. I was so hungry after snorkeling, so I got fish tacos, fries, and a chocolate smoothie. And then after that, we went back to the villa. I just swam for a little bit because it was so hot and the pool is so nice. And now it's time to get ready for dinner. Hey guys. Okay, I just finished my makeup and I just need to set it. And then I've two perfumes i think i'm gonna use this perfume i've literally used so much of it i like to bring this one on trips because it's just easy to carry and i'm also gonna quickly do my hair one more time because clipping it up made it all like weird it's a couple hours later i did a little bit of reading and i'm getting ready now for dinner we're going to more and night markets it's gonna be a really exciting experience i think they have like a range of different foods we're on the cook islands for about six days in total and i'm so happy to be here i'm actually here with jetstar so thank you so much to jetstar first of all for taking us i need to tell you guys right now that this experience has been insane we were swimming with the turtles earlier today and i've swam with turtles before but the water here is like so blue hey guys this is future Brittany popping in just to let you guys know that if you guys are interested in finding more about cook islands i will have a link down below for you guys I'm doing flights from australia to the cook islands for like 200 and something dollars only at the moment it's actually really cheap all the time you just have to check like your dates and then it'll tell you the exact price i'll talk a bit more about this again at the end of the video but yes if you guys are interested at all that information is there for you guys and i hope you guys enjoy the rest of this trip and the vlog i think i'm actually going to change into this skirt by the brand ryu love it Sunnies. we're driving to the mori mori night markets now everyone's like in a line behind us and it's so close it's three minutes from our villa 
there was such a good variety of stores at this market and this one market right here they had like 30 dishes i swear i was like oh my gosh i don't even know what i should pick but i did settle with some tacos we also got some ribs if i had a bigger appetite i would have gotten like five ten things because there's so many options here and there were so many drink options i did get like this mango coconut smoothie that was like delicious and i wish i could get it again Okay, we're driving to a sunset spot. We're listening to Taylor Swift, and we're gonna catch her to sunset. Oh, we don't? We flew to Aitutaki today and we did a six hour boat tour around the island and this was crazy. They have one of the largest lagoons in the world which is why the water is so blue and so shallow. We got taken around to three different islands so we were essentially island hopping the whole day which was like the coolest thing. They stopped off at these different places and then we also went snorkeling in the water. <laughs> This is some of the bluest water I've ever seen in my life. Like, I swear, this island is my new Roman Empire. I think about Aitutaki at least once a day. They also had a buffet for this tour and it was delicious. I wanted to grab like one of everything. I'm pretty sure I did grab one of everything now that I'm looking at this. And it was delicious. Just looking around there's these giant holes i know like crabs dig holes but this is like no crab they build it so that you can't damage it oh. okay we're all about to go back onto the boat we're gonna be on our way to we're gonna drive to murray beach club now is it, this, this is, is where we're right, having yeah. dinner it's left, right? yeah it's oh I yeah. don't know. bike riding. I've got sunscreen with us. My set is from Crop Shop Boutique. We picked up our e-bikes and we went to Black Rock again, which is this little beach area. It's also like a little cliff. And we also went inland a little bit just to see what was around. We're sitting by the pool right now. We have roughly an hour and a bit before you have to go to dinner. And I brought my book out and I'm gonna read. We're about to go meet everyone for stand up paddle boarding, and this is gonna be our night activity. I'm gonna show you guys my paddle board outfit, my kini. We're having Charlie's Cafe for dinner. It's a really popular spot. Like anyone on the island, if you ask them about it, they're like Charlie's Cafe. It was, in fact, really good. I had fish tacos. <laughs> Saturday, it's around like 9 a.m. in the morning right now, and we're off to go to the Panuga markets to go check out what they have. They have souvenirs, food, like fruit. Um, 
I'm not sure what else, but it's a really cute market. And I really want to find a fridge magnet because we like collecting fridge magnets from like every place that we get. It's, I know it's not that unique, but like we got into it like sometime last year and now we're like trying to make sure we get something from everywhere that we go. I'm kind of sad we didn't get one from Aitataki, but they didn't have any as well. So I'm like, mm. Mom would love this. As in, your mom would love this. Oh, let's, let's see if there's any funny small one. I'm heading out to get some burgers. Apparently, this is a really popular burger joint. It's called Burger Joint, actually. Billy's Burger Joint. Billy's Burger Joint. Billy's burger yeah. joint. And it's really highly rated. I think it's like 4.7 stars. I'm really excited to try it. It's literally one minute down the road. Um, we would walk, but it's a bit hot right now. So we're gonna go get these burgers, come back, do some light reading, explore the island a bit later. And yeah, I love this place. It's just so chill. Honestly, like I would come here with my family. Like I feel like they would like this very much. Like, cause my parents grew up on an island. Da, da, da. Let's see how long this oh takes actually. <laughs> the cat. Guys, we made it. That was our one minute. Oh my gosh, got my bag. Let's go. Oh, they have buffalo wings as well. We've secured the burgers. We have a triple. We have some fries. We got a double cheese as well. This one's mine. Time to try my burger. I've got my burger, my double cheese. Look how big this burger is. Mm. It's like a really fluffy. This is so good. We're gonna be here for probably a couple of hours. Um, we have a buffet dinner tonight, but we're gonna go out and explore the island for a little bit as well before dinner. I was gonna go to the bookstore earlier because they had a bookstore here. And I really wanted to find Fourth Wing and just see if they have it on this island. Uh, it's like so random and I didn't get to go, which I'm kind of sad about because I just wanted to see like if they had it. I already have the book by the way, I just am obsessed with it. So yeah, I'm also trying to finish my book right now, which is A Court of Wings and Ruin. And Clint's finishing, or Clint's like halfway through Iron Flame, which is the second book of Fourth Wing. And like, I'm, I've read it already by the way, but I'm so excited that he's reading it, that I'm like reading along with him again. But yeah, I just want him to get to the end, you know? The ending had me shook. And I also have my book here. I'm gonna be reading this. I'm literally, guys, I didn't realize that I was basically, I'm more than halfway through now actually, cause I was reading on my iPad and I have my sticky tabs, of course. Yeah, it's gonna be, a very chill pool day. Everyone's like laying out right now as well. Side by side we sway there in all the colors. Summer. I'm about to head out again. We're gonna go to the cat sanctuary and we're also going to this hanging tree which is at this beach and I'm changed for the occasion because I want to get some cute hicks. I'm wearing my little bikini and my skirt. On the way to oh left. Left? Yeah. Oh, so not near my <laughs> Nope. I'm going to Eureka Palms. to go to the Paws and Claws cat Is sanctuary. Is cat <laughs> I can try Google it. Yeah, we really want to go. And they close at 3.30 and it's currently 4.30. I don't know why. I only checked like the opening time which is like 1 p.m. and I didn't even say it's that owl. You okay? Oh, it's really nice cosplay. I'm gonna pop Anyways. It's okay. Maybe they didn't want us to see any cats. We're on our way to dinner and we're 
in. Everyone's driving their own cars though. We have a 20 minute drive. Oh, so Get better? <laughs> All right. <laughs> The food's not ready yet, but this is going to be dinner, having a major buffet. Oh my god. We're in line right now, and, <laughs> and I'm going to be grabbing so in a second. We've got two tickets. Guys, the dessert looks insane. <laughs> I've got my bowl. Oh, water. That's the end of my Cook Islands trip. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me. I'm so excited that I got to share this experience with you guys. Thank you so much to Jetstar for taking me on this trip and for these beautiful experiences. I'm gonna remember this for life. I hope you guys learned a bit more about Cook Islands and if you're interested in booking or finding out more information and getting really cheap flights from Australia to Cook Islands, I will have a link down below for you guys so that you can find out more. I'll be back with my regular vlog schedule, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Thank you.